In this video, we'll be going over how to launch a new EC2 instance on AWS. But to click the specific information, we'll click on the drop down here, and then I will give a brief overview after navigating to the EC2 Management Console of how to select the required selections in order to set up your EC2 instance properly, as well as how to configure the necessary security groups. So we will navigate to the EC2 Management Console, and then we will select Launch New Instance, which is this orange button here. It will take you to this page. And the first thing that we'll do is name our instance. And so I'm going to name it tutorial example. And then you need to select your appropriate application and OS image. And we'll be staying on the Amazon Linux version. Next, we have to select the appropriate instance type. And so we will be using the C5.4x large, which has 16 vCPU and 32 gigabits of memory. I do want to note that this is not in the free tier, so it will cost money in order to run the tutorial. Next, we'll move on to selecting our key pair or our PEM file. And this is something that we've already, in this case, auto-generated. If you need to, you can select create a new key pair and generate your specific one. For network settings, we need to make sure that we allow SSH traffic. And then we will also be clicking the allow HTTP traffic from the internet. And on this dropdown, we will be selecting my IP. After setting that up, we'll move to configuring the storage. The default value is eight. However, in order to run all three cases in the tutorial in an end-to-end -end fashion, we will need to set this to 60. There are no advanced details in this case. And then we can just look at the summary to make sure things are set appropriately. Then we will click Launch Instance. And it will take a moment for your instance to successfully launch, but then you will see this button that says success. You can then click on this and it will take you to your EC2 dashboard where you can see your instance is in a running state. When your instance is in a running state, you will be paying for the AWS services.